Good day guys, MF West here, and you see this smile. Holy shit. Alright, so my subscribers, if you are watching this, if you aren't, yesterday I released a video discussing the patch notes that would have come out on the 21st of February, which is today. Um, NA, it's already live. EU, it's going live tonight. And I overlooked something. I overlooked something quite big. So let's go look at that again, okay? Right, so the patch notes are here. Um, Dark Arbiter, yeah, still not viable. Gargle damage, cool. Virulent plague damage, overtime damage, increased by 67%. Holy shit, I overlooked this, guys. So, yesterday, some people were commenting on the video, and someone said, could, do you think you could please check out the Ebon Fever buff? If, it, if Ebon Fever will be viable now, the huge buff to Virulent Plague. And I was like, I don't think so. I think Bursting Wounds will still be stronger, especially for AoE Clee fights, but I will check it out. So, the first thing I did was I updated my SimCraft, and I started simming. So, let me just show you guys. This is 555k DPS. Okay, before this, I was simming at 500 and around 25 with, this, with Bursting Wounds. So, now I'm at 555 with Bursting Wounds, okay? Um, bursting Wounds you use pretty much throughout Nighthold, except for a few fights, like maybe even Star Augur, Triliax, and Croesus. But people still use them on those fights. Okay, so that's Bursting Wounds. This is Orbital Surf. 562k DPS, obviously because single target fights, that little skeleton guy is going to do some work. Then, <laughs> 581k Ebon Fever. Holy shit, guys. Ebon Fever is amazing. This is for single target. So just imagine what Klee fights will be like. I still need to do some more tests, but I'm seeing bigger numbers on all the Klee fights in Nighthold than I have with Bursting Wounds. And I've seen um, today I did a 6 out of 12 uh, clear on Nighthold. And I hit personal best on every single fight. Single target cleave, massive AoE, doesn't matter. Unholy damage has been buffed. It was a stealth buff by Blizzard. And honestly, I overlooked it till I saw that comment. Um, and I think everyone will start catching on. 67% to Virulent Play, guys. That is ridiculous. Like, look at the position that Unholy is in right now. So this is Nighthold. So this is for Heroic, just... And look at the position Unholy is at. We are at the bottom of the fucking logs, guys. Our counterpart Frost is at the top, destroying us. With this buff, I do think that we might go to middle of the pack. It might be possible that we're going to go to middle of the pack because not many other classes receive a damage buff such that uh, such uh, as big as this. And for Klee fights, guys, Virulent Plague is doing so much damage. Unholy Death Knights and Mythic Pluses now are just going to be retarded. I do need to adjust my guides um, for Nighthold for Mythic Pluses as well. I will be showing you guys to go Eve on Fever for every single fight. Um, I do want to see if Bursting Wounds will be better on some fights, but right now for like for... I mean, I haven't done that many Klee fights, but for the majority of them, they are extreme. Like, Eve on Fever just surpasses Bursting Wounds. And on a single target, that's amazing that Ebon Fever is doing like so much more damage than the rest. So, guys, change it up. Change to Ebon Fever. This is the build that I pretty much run for every boss in Nighthold. Obviously, for Triliax and Star Augur, if you have the Force set especially, Necrosis is a very, very good option. I just haven't gotten used to playstyle yet, nor have I got my hands on a Force set. But, um, wow. Change it to this. Ebon Fever is amazing. And the best thing about Ebon Fever is our two set right now um, is actually making the rotation quite... We have, we have a lot of spare runes. Um, people are complaining about having spare runes. And with Ebon Fever being active, excuse me, um, it's just going to make the rotation much more smooth. Those spare runes are now going to be spent on Virulent Plague. You want to prioritize keeping Virulent Plague on the target. And if any ad spawns, you want to be putting Virulent Plague on them as well. I can just imagine how like, overpowered this is going to be on Botanist. Um, and just Klee fights in general. So you're going to be, want to be really, really, really monitoring your Virulent play buffs. Get a weak aura, use mine. Um, I still need to release my add-on guide. Um, make sure you're tracking Virulent Play, guys. And you want to be reapplying it around 1 to 5 seconds. That's what I do. Even 1 to 3. 1 to 5 is clipping it too much. And yeah, you should still have a few spare runes. I found that on single target fights, it was still quite good. And honestly, guys, 
give unholy a good name go out there and tell people that unholy isn't trash we are still viable surprise your guildmates with some fights because you're going to see a 40 to 50k dps increase on fights i'm not even joking like let me show you some of the fights for example uh let's have a look at chronomatic anomaly i normally get high passes like legendary passes for this fight but 95 percentile 666 k dps now last time i did this fight i was 9 892 and i got 600 k dps and i was a that was like a 94 93 percentile i'm doing 666 okay that number is very dodgy but yeah much more and then for example triliac single target fight use ebon fever look at this guys ebon fever where are you virulent plague sorry virulent plague is my top damage spell it's 20% of my damage. Holy shit. That's on a single target fight. I'm doing 556k DPS. Now, obviously, the item level percentages are going to... Mine are going to drop because everyone's going to start realizing that this spec is the shit. And people are going to start passing way higher. Now, this is really funny. <laughs> on Star Orgo, I managed to get a 100% uh, percentile. That obviously, again, will drop because people will realize it, but... It just shows you, like, Unholy is, it got a buff, um, quite a heavy buff. So, guys, I'm really happy with this buff. I want you to go out there. I want you to go tell people um, the correct spec to run. If you see a Death Knight running Bursting Wounds, Bursting Swords, sorry, or All Serve, just explain to them that, um, yeah, you should be running Ebon Fever. I'm still doing checks for all the different fights in, in Nighthold, but I'm pretty sure Ebon Fever is the go-to talent for every single fight. And also, guys, if I've been saying Bursting Wounds, I meant Bursting Sores. It's Bursting Sores. The talent is called Bursting Sores. Right, guys, so for I hope all the people um, on EU and NA, all of you guys, you watch this before you raid next one, Holy. And that's pretty much it, guys. I just want to let you guys know that information. Have an awesome day guys, MF West out, and holy for the win.